My name is Anand Farid and I'm honoured to be part of the Lacuna International Contemporary Art Festival with a the theme of Clash 2022. I'm an autodidactic artist who grew up in North London and my background is in biochemistry with management um, from Imperial College London. Um, in terms of my art practice, I paint and I photograph and occasionally I write poetry as well. Um, how do I do it? Well, I paint uh, utilizing free flowing brush strokes. Um, and in terms of photography, I try to make it as authentic and raw as possible, uh, trying to capture the moment as it is, um, either in color or grayscale and black and white. Um, and when did I start? Well, I started when I was a child. I have been painting since I was a child. Um, I remember when I was about 11 or 12 years old, I um, painted for the mayor of Enfield uh, for a competition that he had painting in the park and receiving um, the art certificate for it um, in the grounds of Forty Hall. And art has always been a passion of mine and more so because I had to um, teach it to myself. Um, in terms of what inspires me, my art relates to exploring, dreaming and discovering the world around us, educating ourselves with inner insights, enlightened with natural perspectives, to enable a holistic art experience. The insight between nature, faith and humanity is a lifelong discovery. Our perceptions of the natural world and our role within it um, are very interesting to explore. I also like to explore the links between science and art. I also like to explore um, in some of my photography the theme of light um, and that theme has been a very long running theme almost over a decade I would say. Um, so there is a lot of inspiration uh, from the world around us, interfaith inspiration, humanity, and also within us as humans and our inner perspectives. In terms of artists that have inspired me, I would say Kay Sage, who was a 20th century surrealist artist, and she also wrote poetry. Um, her artwork focused on architecture with, I feel, a futuristic element. And um, it was very interesting to try to understand what she was trying to portray. Um, John Constable also inspires me very much. He was an English landscape artist of the 18th century and his focus on nature. Um, and I think having visited his grandfather's mill, Flatford Mill, um, as a 17-year-old doing her A-level geography fieldwork was also very um, inspiring and interesting to see how the artist lived in the locations that he lived and I got to see where he painted the hay wing which has been a huge inspiration. Mark Rothko is also another inspiration. His focus on colour, the fact that he was self-taught and his struggles and challenges and what he achieved has also been incredibly inspiring. Um, in terms of what I'm exhibiting at the Lacuna International Festival, I'm exhibiting my photographs, the adventure, the long road ahead, and nature overcomes. The way they relate to the theme of Clash 22 is that um, the photographs explore the festival theme of Clash in varying degrees, from the clash of light and darkness in adventure to the clash between technology and nature and wilderness in Nature Overcomes. Um, and the long road ahead poignantly explores the clash within human emotions from the dichotomy between solitude, loneliness, 
peace and contentment. So I'm very much excited to having those displayed um, at the festival. Where can people find out more? Um, you can find out more on my website, which is www.anamfaroof.com. That's A-N-U-M-F-A-R-O-O-Q.com, anamfaroof.com, as well as um, on the Lacuna International Art Festival links.